Hey everyone, this is Fulio of Echele Porros Productions and today's Thanksgiving so we're just going to be going through a whole bunch of Thanksgiving dishes starting with our turkey. First of all, when you get your turkey, make sure you take all the stuff out of its cavity before you start, you know, dressing it, seasoning it, basting it, or throwing it straight in the oven. Usually they have the neck out. You want to get that out. Look at that. A gravy mix that you can make gravy with. Uh, you want to take out this little plastic piece, which is usually what you use to grab and pull the turkey. Oops. And this little thermometer dinghy, which if you have a good instant read, you don't need that anyways. What we're going to be doing with this bird is we're going to be spatchcocking it because it's the morning of Thanksgiving. We didn't have two or three days to cook this. So this will be a nice quick way to get your turkey cooked. Ooh, what you want to do is you want to get your bird and you want to cut out the backbone, which I've already started here because we decided to start recording after I started cutting. So what you want to have on hand is a sharp knife. If you don't have a sharp knife, go sharpen it with one of these things or the bottom of the bowl or whatever you got because if you try to do this with a dull knife, it ain't gonna work. Or if you have a nice pair of kitchen shears, use those. What you just want to do is go along the backbone, cutting out the little rib areas. And if you're a little squeamish, maybe this part ain't for you. I got this. Once you got it down here, take out the fat. And there is your backbone. Look at that. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your knife and you're going to make an incision right here. So it's going to be a lot easier when we go and try to break this thing. So you want to use some muscle and crack that down. What the ultimate goal here is for everything to lay kind of flat so everything cooks evenly and it cooks a lot faster this way. So once you have it all nice and open, you can take out some of these sharp bits. There you go. And you just want to mop up some of this excess liquid that was here, especially if you were just turbo defrosting it in water. You definitely want to make sure the bird is nice and dry before you do any kind of cooking if you want any sort of crispy skin. Once you got this bird as dry as you can, uh, we're going to start with our rub, which we're going to let it brine in for a couple hours before we throw it in the oven. oven. <laughs> we have two tablespoons of garlic salt, a teaspoon each of crushed red pepper, paprika, rosemary, basil, and parsley. Before we get to our spices, we're going to loosen up this skin contact between the breast meat and the skin because we also want to get some of a rub in there. So what you want to do is you want to pull the skin back and just run your fingers between these two areas. And the skin should pull back nice and gently and then you'll be able to get you know full coverage in there. You want to get your hands under here. Uh, just be gentle with it. It may have a bit of resistance at first. The skin nice and loosened up. You know, you want it to be kind of like a saggy grandma after you're done with it. We're going to do the same with the thighs. So you just want to run your fingers in there. And once you have the skin loosened up, you should be able to just push it out. And from there, you'll be able to season the meat super easily. You just put the rub and you bring the skin back. Let's get this thing nice and seasoned and you want to be kind of liberal with the seasonings it is a rub nice and seasoned as well but this is going to help our chicken Turkey. break down don't have enough you can always make more but this is going to help our turkey meat start to break down especially the ones inside and while you're here you're going to want to shape your turkey because how you shape it here and is how it's going to cook and how it's going to cook is how it's going to come out looking 
So you want to take these wing tips. You don't want them flopping around because then they will burn. But you're going to want to take this wing tip and tuck it under. Wing tip, tuck it under. Your legs, your thighs. You want to make that clear distinction between the breast and the thighs because after this is cooked, all you need to cut through here is some skin and some cartilage and it'll cut up, come off really easily. So, Just so you guys know, it is Thanksgiving. This isn't a step-by-step -step recipe just like with the Chipotle mac and cheese or my other recipes, but this is just kind of a hodgepodge showing you everything that I make and kind of some of the process and how it's going to turn out. If you want step-by-step -step videos, put that down in the comments and I'll get around to doing it. In addition to the turkey, we also have a ham that most of us don't really like the super sweet glaze. So I made a chipotle glaze. This is just some chipotle, garlic, cilantro, and a bit of seasonings thrown together, blend it all together, and we're going to baste it around our ham. So in addition to the turkey and the ham, we're going to have total of three side dishes. The first, of course, is going to be mashed potatoes. So I already have the potatoes on the stovetop boiling. We're going to get those off when they're hot, when they're nice and tender, and then we're going to mash them down. Our second main side dish we're going to have is clam chowder. I love making it. Maybe it's not traditionally Thanksgiving, but it really goes along well. So for that, we have two 10 ounce cans of For that, we have two 10 ounce can For that, we have 10 for that we have two for that we have two 10 ounce cans of clams. You want to separate the clams from the juice because the juice is going to go first. In addition to the clams and their juice, we're going to be using a cup of heavy cream, some butter, a nice amount of onions and celery. We're going to be making a roux with that. We're going to be putting in the heavy cream, the sauce, some bay leaves and some more spices. Our last side dish is going to be a green bean casserole. Here we have a bunch of green beans cut up. We're gonna put that in a base of cream of mushroom along with two cups of heavy cream. We're gonna season the cream of mushroom mixture a bit. We're gonna put our green beans in and then we're gonna top it with some french fried onions. So it's right about time to get our turkey in the oven. So what we're gonna do is I made a seasoned butter, has some of the chipotle mixture that we put on the ham, basil, thyme, rosemary, seasonings, and of course butter. So we're gonna get that all over this turkey and all inside this turkey. So we got our turkey buttered up and we got our ham covered in our chipotle mixture. The oven set at 350. We're gonna put both of these in there. We're gonna attempt the breast after the hour. We wanna pull them out at about 160 because we're gonna take it out, let it rest covered in some foil and that should take up the temperature right to 165 which is right where you want turkey. Let's get them in the oven. All right, we have one of our three side dishes done. Here, we got the mashed taters. Also ready for the oven is our green bean casserole. Here we have the cream of mushroom mixed with two cups of heavy cream. Get the green beans mixed in there after they've been blanched a bit. Then you get the crispy fried onions and you're ready to go. We also have our clam chowder mix. So what we did is we started cooking down the onion and celery in butter. I rendered down some bacon and also used that bacon fat in here. Put some flour in it. After that, we put a cup and a half of heavy cream, two cups of chicken stock, the clam juice, and some bay leaves. We're also going to check on the turkey and the ham. We want the turkey breast to come up to 160. We'll pull it and then it'll rise up to 165. And for the ham, we're looking at a temperature of about 145. Are we ready? <laughs> I got that. <laughs> and there we have it. Thanksgiving dinner. Here we have our turkey garlic butter taken off at 160 we let it rest for a bit and it climbed up to 165 we spatchcocked it so it took about an hour 45 almost two but that's a lot quicker than what you're gonna get with traditional roast here we have our string bean casserole here we have our chipotle garlic lime glazed ham Bill's favorite the one behind the camera buttery mashed potatoes and our clam chowder that has some bacon in it. And for dessert, even though she didn't want to record her process because she was in PJs the whole time, we have some pumpkin cupcakes with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> we have pumpkin cupcakes with cream cheese frosting. This 
has been Thanksgiving Dinner by Echele Porras Productions. Have a great holidays. Boom! Okay, let's see.